A lot of times the interview relies not so much on the interviewee, but on the interviewer. You can recognize that you've been gifted in certain ways and be very thankful for that, but it doesn't mean that you brag about it. It's fun to go to a job where you know you're going to laugh before the day is over. That's real life, what is at home? If I were doing any better I'd be jealous of myself. No one cares what I think about a six-foot putt, they care what Ian Baker Finch thinks. If you focus your thoughts on what you do have and not what you don't have you will always be grateful. There were trust issues with Hillary Clinton I couldn't get past, and there was this inflammatory rhetoric from Donald Trump, which to me was incomprehensible and indefensible. You can salute the flag, you can revere the flag, you can respect the flag, and all of those are fine. What you cannot do is use the flag as a blindfold. You can't use the flag as a blindfold and not see the things you've seen with your very eyes that tell you that what's keeping this country held back is systemic racism. Our family life is a circus without a net, but I wouldn't have it any other way. What doing baseball means to me is it's a real touch point with my late father. This is what he did for 30 years. I was fortunate to share the booth with my dad for four seasons in the 1990s, so every time I do a game, it's a way to honor him. I loved all sports growing up. I listened to a little bit of hip-hop, but I mainly go back to what was big when I was at the University of Georgia in the 70s. I'm a big Emerson, Lake Palmer guy, a big Jackson Brown guy, the soundtrack of college. I listen to everything. My playlists are wide-ranging. I listen to classic rock, gospel, Christian, soul. Be on time for James Dolan, no excuses like zebras in the road. I am a dad who happens to be a sportscaster, not the other way around. You have to be intentional about slowing down and not rushing to your next meeting. I'm not the guy who's been in the huddle with 1.7 seconds left to go. I'm the TV guy trying to get us from point A to point B to point C. I work on the show every day, even when we aren't on the air. I'm compiling quotes from around the league, digging through clips. Chris Paul said this, that might spark a good conversation. I'm looking at numbers, offensive and defensive efficiency. I was a news anchor in Macon for a year and a half, and a news reporter for exactly one year in Spartanburg before they hired me at the ABC affiliate WSD in Atlanta. I actually covered a fire once at the apartment complex where I was living. I think Kobe Bryant was great. Chris Webber used to be a wonderful guest to have in, very loose, and a lot of fun. What can I ask the owner that I won't ask the GM that I won't ask the coach that I won't ask a player? I want to get something for the viewers at home. The fans at home want to hear what LeBron or Kevin Durant or Steve Kerr has to say. I kind of like the three-point shootout. It's very easy to understand, very simple. I like the slam dunk contest when it's good. I used to work in Macon, Georgia and Spartanburg, South Carolina where the studio was about half the size of your living room. Nobody is going to tune in to see what I think about the NBA. Dad liked to self-deprecatingly joke about his career, but Ernie Johnson was a pretty darn good relief pitcher. Baseball has been in my blood for a long, long time. Less is always more in a playoff game. Life is a blink, it really is, it zips right past you. Preparation is the lifeblood of this job, it's a non-stop process, you're always working ahead. What I've always tried to do, whether it's the NBA or baseball or golf, is be charged with getting the color. I never know from one election to the next who's going to be in office, but I know who's on the throne. And I'm on this earth because God created me, and that's who I answer to. I'm going to pray for Donald Trump. Every time I do a game on TBS, I wear these, my dad's cuff links from 1958. I had the world's greatest childhood. I used to hang around by the batting cage and have Hank Aaron ask me how my little league team was doing. I sat in the back of the broadcast booth for ages watching my dad do his job. And not just watching how he did his job, but how he interacted with people and how he regarded his job. I try to stay out of the way unless I'm really needed. Some people say doing a studio show and doing play-by-play -play are two totally different animals. And to an extent, that's true. I was hopeful and I was encouraged that there will be a difference between the President Trump and the campaigning Trump. 
I remember all the old catwalks and stuff at County Stadium. I'm the worst guy to ever talk about ratings and number of households watching. My favorite player back then was Joe Adcock. I don't know why he was my favorite player, he just was. We're blessed we're working in sports, it's all fun and I never lose the fact there are 3 billion guys out there who would take my job in a second. I'm a coffee guy but I don't think I've had a full cup of coffee. I'll grab one and then I'll have a few sips of it then go back to work and it's cold then I'll throw that away and go back later and get another. 1. If you feel like your voice is going, you have to have hot tea and honey and plenty of water. Visit our website for more quotes. Quoting.com